The first thing you need to do is turn on stabilizer. Here is your lines without, and this is with stabilizer. There are holy mother of cow, 40 levels of stabilizer in Medibank. If your line art still messy after level 40 stabilizer, you know, you gotta start asking questions. Second thing is the brush. It really depends on your line art preference. Some like it smooth, some like it rough. You can also download more brushes from Medibank's cloud, but my favorite is this one, just pen. No fancy name, no nothing, just pen. Now pay attention to this, anti alias, L -L alias, anti- Ugh. What it does is, it smooths out your line art. This is what your line art looks like when you turn it off. Looks kinda badass actually. But I prefer smooth line art, so I'll turn it back on. And this is what it looks like. The third point will make your life easier. That is to prepare a clean sketch before you line art. Fung, isn't clean sketch just a line art? Uh, that's where you're wrong, buddy. I mean, you can call this whatever you want, I'm not your mother. But in the context of this video, no, this is not a line art. This is still a sketch, only cleaner. This is my first sketch, it's really rough. And it will be harder to line art directly on this sketch because it's too cluttered and messy. Like, what is this eye? Seriously. Just create new layer and draw cleaner sketch based on the first one. It doesn't have to be too tidy, just make sure you got the shape and proportion right. By the way, this is my edgy son, Kaede. Say hello, Kaede. Sup. The next step is using your elbow. What does that mean? For that, let's move to the hand cam. Hi, this is me. Now you know I have short fingers. Okay, when you draw like this, only moving your wrist, you see how your movement is restricted and you can only draw short lines? This will be difficult when line arting big shapes like his face. For that, you gotta move your elbow, people. Lift your elbow from your desk and move your whole arm. This way, you can draw long lines smoothly and much cleaner. This is the trick I learned from Cox Illust. Alright, peace out. Point number four yeah is thick and thin lines okay you see these two line arts this is the same character but somehow the right one looks more interesting and alive while the left one is just plain boring you're boring this is the importance of alternating between thick and thin lines to give depth and dimension to your drawing and make it less unalive but fun where do i put the thick lines okay for thick lines draw it on areas you want to emphasize for example in a face people will usually focus on the character's eyes so draw the upper lash line with thick brush but leave the lower lash line thin to maintain a natural look you also want to draw thicker lines on areas where shadow usually show up most common places are under the lips and chin you see how the lips have more dimension and look plumper thanks to the thick lines other areas to add thick lines are clothing folds and below the hair strands. Just draw a little arrow like this and fill it out with ink. Also, you know chicken scratches lines, right? Like these tiny lines. I know they're considered quote-unquote bad in line art because it looks messy, but you can actually use it as hatchings in undercuts or eyebrows. Okay, we have our line art. Now we're gonna use screen tone. What's a screen tone, you ask? It's this gray shading in a manga. They usually have dots or lines as patterns, but not only shading, they can be used as backgrounds as well, like flowers and sparkles in shoujo manga. Y'all have read manga at some point in your life, right? If you haven't, read one right now. They're great. There are two ways to apply screen tone in in Medibank. First one is you go to the layer window and click this one right here and choose add layer half tone. Now whatever you draw in this layer will be turned to screen tone. You can modify the screen tone by clicking this gear icon. You can add color to your screen tone if you want. You can also choose the pattern and the intensity. Use airbrush if you want softer looking tones. Second way to screen tone is by clicking this icon on top and there are tile, tone, and item. Style is similar to the halftone layer we did earlier. Tone has more options, including background screen tones such as skies, trees, and flowers. And in item, you have an alpaca. Yeah, I don't get it either. To use it, use magic wand to create selection and drag the screen tone to your canvas. After that, just erase to create highlights or to erase the excess screen tone. Personally, I prefer the first method because you can just use a brush and it's much easier, but I will use this one for adding backgrounds and effects. You can also go to the cloud for other materials like speech bubbles and oh, helicopter, nice. 
Do you guys know the traditional screen tone paper? You have to stick it to your manuscript and then cut it. And then if you want to make it softer like this, you gotta use this kind of eraser. I tried it years ago and let's just say I slaughtered my manuscript. It was really fun though, very interesting experience. Okay, let's actually make a manga page. Select comic and choose one of the templates. I'm just gonna use manga and leave the rest as is because I do not understand. Next thing we wanna make is panels. Click layer and add panel material. Your arrow should turn into the slicing tool and you can just slice this large rectangle to make your panels. Easy! You can now sketch your comic on these panels but I'm going to copy this from before because come on I put a lot of effort on this one let me choose a background first a uh, starry sky maybe or clouds ah okay yeah this is good now all that's left is the dialogue I will grab some speech bubbles from the cloud material I actually have no idea how to make the speech bubble tail you know this little one do I have to draw it manually nah I don't wanna you can also use edge pen to draw the speech bubble but you have to draw it in one go if you draw another one on top of it there will be a new outline and actually it's better to have a script or dialogue first before you're drawing the manga but I already have a dialogue from you guys Guys, few weeks ago, I asked you to submit a short dialogue between my edgy son and a talking stray cat. There are quite a lot of submissions, some are wholesome, some are funny, and some are very cringe just the way I like it. I selected one that piques my interest the most, and now I will read it out and show off my voice acting ability. I wouldn't do anything for anyone. I am a loyal being full of pride and moral standards. Believing in freedom, the right mindset and myself is what keeps me going every single day. <laughs> I only live for myself and my goals, so I never have to be dependent and risk my morality. Meow for me. Meow, meow, meow. I can't. I just... I, I just can't. I will not be meowing on the internet. Look, I made peace with myself and accepted my cringe, but no, I will not meow on the internet. Anyway, this gold mine of a dialogue is from Abdul Rafai Anjum. The comment starts with, I am so sorry y'all. And I was like, why? What's wrong? And then I read this part and was like, oh, that's why. Well, anyway, congratulations, Abdul. Very intense dialogue. You win the Sense Labs tablet giveaway. But more than that, you outgrinch myself. No, I will not meow on the internet. Please share your email address on my Instagram DM so I can pass it to Sense Labs team for your prize. If you haven't had the chance to win this giveaway, don't worry. I plan on hosting more in the future, so stay tuned. Now I'm gonna go outside and see a cat, hopefully. Bye!